Welcome back. SOLIDWORKS 2025, let's talk about drawings. In the previous video, we did this explode view. Now we are going to make the drawing. So in order to make a drawing, we go to new uh, file and select the drawings template. From here, you're going to have a set of options of uh, standard sheet sizes, or you can use your own custom uh, sheet size, but let's stay with an, an A3. And right now, uh, what we're having is um, a list of components that are open in memory in SOLIDWORKS. So uh, I'm only having this assembly open at this point. So this is the only thing that is going to show for now, but we can um, uh, have more options in there if we have more parts. Let's double click on it and now we are having a preview and i'm not uh, picking anything for now i'm just moving my mouse and uh, the preview is going to uh, follow the mouse the soft software is waiting me to pick a point where to leave it but before we do that we have here some options so the first one is uh, the configuration in this assembly, I only have one configuration. And, uh, and then at the bottom, I have, um, or below it, I have the option for select my explode view. That is what I wish to do. Then we have uh, views, standard views, front, top, left, right, etc. But any of them are the view that I wish to use. Then, going um, here, we're having uh, now the option that we are looking for. Uh, as shown in the previous video, we saw how to create a custom view. So I'm going to select it. It is listed in here, explode view. And now I have the preview as uh, what I wish to see. Okay, there are more options in there. But uh, if you uh, are not looking at your preview, you can click this preview check and you're going to have to preview as I'm showing for my one. Then we have uh, display styles at where we, are, we can select if we want to see colors and uh, also wireframe style or uh, wireframe, but uh, without hidden um, lines style. We can also select the sheet, um, um, the scale of the view. Sorry, you can use use sheet scale that is uh, pretty fine based on the size of the, of the assembly, or you can uh, select one from uh, this list. Okay, and you can of course type it in here if you want something uh, that is not listed at this point. Okay, so I will. Pick a one, two, five, and I will click to leave the 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 view at my sheet. Okay, so I click it, and now the view uh, is there. Is static. Let's say I do zoom and move my mouse. Nothing is going to happen. But you can, of course, relocate your view by positioning your cursor at the um, let's say the frame of dash line that hi that highlights when you get close to the area. So at that point, you're going to have this indicator and that's the moment when you do the left uh, click and drag your view to their uh, desired uh, location. You can always change all the options that we had at the beginning when creating the view. So I will just use the shaded view with edges. So um, as shown, remember the importance of having a view, predefined view, you can have uh, this edge uh, solid, let's say sharp and not chop as on in this one, for example, here you can see small, small sections all around the thing, right? Okay. So th that's uh, the way how you create one view, but let's say that we want orthogonal views as well. So we can, Go to model view again, double click this thing. And as an extra tip, you can 
go below. Let me see. Yeah, here, here at options, you can check this out to start projected view. So I will pick it and I will select, uh, let me see. I think I want this view, but I don't want the exploded view. I want uh, the regular view. So I will remove this check. And with that, and the preview is not showing, let me see if I can, I don't know. It, the preview looks like it is the explode view, but it is not going to be, okay. All right, so uh, one more thing here, maybe the, yeah, the scale, I think it's going to be like this, it's going to be fine. Okay, so I will leave my viewing here. I will click, left click, and now the software automatically and instantaneously starts to uh, let me choose other views for uh, my my drawing. So I will pick this view, and now I continue uh, adding more. So I think it works uh, to uh, pick this one. So depending on the position that you locate your mouse, it is going to change, of course, and this is based on orthogonal views, and this is third projection view. That's that's important to notice. In uh, SolidWorks, I think uh, you need to to go to the options to find out and make the default for the first uh, projection view if you like to work in that way. If not, software is going to always by default make the third angle view. So if you want to drop the view right now, but as you can see, it is constrained by the um, location of the mouse, but you want it to drop it uh, without the alignment thing, you can click or, well, uh, press the control button and it is going to let you to move uh, to, to another position where you can lift uh, the, the view. So I will leave it in here and now I will accept with the green check. Now I can reposition the view, maybe change this one to color so it looks uh, cool. And um, let's add the section view so we can see through it. And But at this point, I'm not sure at which point I want to cut, to be honest. So I will do not uh, constrain it to any of the points. I will leave it floating. I will accept this. Now I will place my section view here. And I want to do a very quick exploration. I will change uh, the visual style of the parent view to... Uh -huh. Okay, so now I can measure very quickly, let's say a circular reference from a circular reference, let's see. Okay, 111, so 55, that's totally fine. Okay, so uh, as mentioned, uh, this is the, the patent um, view, right? So the, the one from where we started and as we go changing properties to it, the rest of the views are going to, to change as well. You can uh, keep that uh, true, or you can um, also uh, make separate visual styles for each of the views and all that. But what you need to do is to pick the view that you want to modify and go here and uncheck this use parent style. Okay, so now that I know that what I need to do is uh, to move 55 millimeters from the center. I will edit this uh, section view. So uh, edit cutting line will be the option. I will hit on the, the sketch. And now I can, um, let me see. I will drag this one if it lets me. Okay, so it is having here some constraints. So this constraints works exactly the way that um, on the sketches we saw on the first videos of the series. So let me delete this one as well. Now it is free to move. 
and I can add the dimension as on a on a regular thing, right? So I will pick the center of this cylindrical reference and hit 55. That's totally fine. I will exit from the cutting section view. And I think I can delete this one as well. There you go. Okay, so now I'm looking at what I wanted to have in the section view precisely. Okay, so very quickly, just to finalize this series of basic videos, you have the Smart Dimension tool. With this one, you are going to have the chance of placing all the dimensions that you wish to use. So Angular view, uh, uh, sorry, Angular um, dimensions as well, as well as linear uh, diameters, radiuses, and uh, those kind of basic uh, dimensions. There are more options, more specifically to uh, dimensioning styles, and that will depend more on the project and the type of manufacturing process that you are going to, to require. So you can do ordinate dimensions. So they start from um, a single origin, and then you make um, everything reference to that origin, for example. OK, so this is getting nice. Uh, I hope you have uh, liked this uh, series of videos. If you have not seen all them, I'm leaving here. I'm leaving here the link for the uh, playlist so you can check all them together. Thank you so much. Have a nice one.